And what is good in your hoods, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Diverse Comics and Pop. And I'm your host, Rayman Leonard. And I create comic books, Violent Bird, Agent Solo, and Gaitron. All three of my books have been successfully crowdfunded on both platforms, Indiegogo and Kickstarter. And I love producing comic books. Yes, I draw them. And I have a lot of fun drawing my creations, y'all. Y'all see the videos. You know, y'all see me uh, showcasing my, my books here and there. I'm going to showcase some more of that. Um, <clears throat> before we get into today's episode, which is not going to be long, guys. Um, but hit that like button, man. Click on that uh, subscribe button and hit that bell to get notifications every time I go live, baby. Man, we are growing this channel, y'all, and I gotta thank all of y'all. Real talk, I gotta thank all the supporters, man. All y'all have made this channel phenomenal, man. I gotta show love. Okay, y'all, to get down to it real quick, big announcement this morning just hit, just hit me this morning um, on Facebook. Um, my, uh, dear friend, uh, huge inspiration of, of my art career who gave my first opportunity in professional comic work doing profit remastered one brigade remaster issue. Number one, Rob Lightfield just announced he's retired, retiring from drawing Deadpool huge shock, but um, I should have known this was coming. Reason I say that because, like, I be I follow Rob on his whatnot. You know, he be selling exclusive items on his whatnot account app. If you have, oh, if you have on whatnot, you know how they uh, entertain people when they're selling stuff on there. So he announced he did he did push some he did give like uh, you know some some que some some more of a. He left a clues that he's going to do this because he asked his followers on there, um, what, 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 what would we prefer more? Uh, him drawing his own credit on stuff or more Marvel stuff? And so everyone was like, man, we want to see more extreme stuff. You know what I'm saying? We want to see, we want to see Brigade. We already know, you know, he has lost young blood due to a bad business deal. But, you know, we were just saying to him, we just want to see some yo credit on stuff. You know, and and, and it, it, that should it, that should uh, right there let us know that he was talking about retirement from not drawing Deadpool anymore, and um, you know, we just kept pushing that issue. Like, man, we want to see more Young Blood. I mean, not Young Blood, but Brigade. We want to see all these other creations that you gave us during those nineties that made us really go crazy. So I guess he took that into consideration, man, and he announced today. That he is uh, no longer will be drawing Deadpool anymore. Um, he got he said he's gonna kick out one more can of a Deadpool story, and that's gonna be his uh, fair uh, ride off into the sunset, uh, so to speak. And I guess uh, he's gonna be uh, focusing on more credit on stuff, which is pretty cool because the last blood that he got out, oh my god. Yeah, man, it's selling like hotcakes, you know, and it, you only can get it direct through him only on the whatnot, and them books are going quick. Um, I got a whatnot, I got an issue for it, for, uh, I got that one issue, number one issue, um, I got the white edition, uh, so it should be coming in the mail, and hopefully I can show you guys uh, when I get the thumbs up to show up, because right now it's really a secret type book, only, only his fans, like me, more I can get it through him, and if retailers are interested... He's going to have a, a program when they can get the books direct to him. This is all direct to him. It's not under the image, the image comic umbrella. It's called Last, uh, Last Blood. And let me tell you, he didn't show no pages for this. You know, he showed some pages on his whatnot, but it was like a flip quick, you know, he wasn't getting in the way. So everybody, all of us followers, we're going crazy over this book, man. Let me tell you something that... that that's the most best for never getting a book that you don't see the pages nothing. You just can't wait to get it and read it and be all shocked. So that's the new thing he's doing now. So yeah, he's not longer drawing. Um, he will no longer be drawing Deadpool anymore. So let's read his farewell, his free his free uh, farewell speech that he gave. Where he's the reason why he's not drawing. He's gonna uh, 
Stop drawing Deadpool. So let's just uh, read that real quick, guys. And um, so you can just hear from the, the man himself, reason why he's um, not drawing Deadpool. Let's go. Okay, so we're on Rob. Uh, I'm on Facebook, guys, and I want you to guys to see this. This is from the words of Rob himself. <clears throat> he posted this like two hours ago. And then it says, I'm returned from Deadpool. It's official. Yep. After 33 years of not only introducing Deadpool, but trying to glean many of his most popular ventures. It's time for Deadpool Daddy to say farewell. One of the uh, one of the fun parts about getting older is you can retire from things. So here I am. So I worked up one of last crazy Deadpool <clears throat> yarn for the fine folks at Morrow, and they responded with a, um, electric glee. And I started producing it last month for release summer of 2024. I ought to wonder um, <clears throat> what my life would be like if 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 I if I had not created and so not just Deadpool, but Cable, Domino, Strife, and many others to Marvel. What if young young Rob hadn't taken up the challenge of transferring a little of that was headed towards cancellation? is one of the better um, alternative universe tales. It certainly transformed my young career, creating opportunities and re record breaking sales for the new mutants and X-Force creating and introducing for Deadpool crops, future Lady Deadpool and Dog Deadpool was a great function of, of my mind, like my midlife crisis during 2009 and 2015. I started Deadpool Bad Blood, getting Deadpool his first original graphic novel and his only chart topping number one ranking to date. Achievement that got me a round of congratulations from Marvel Brass that pumped my chest out farther than Captain America, Captain America's. No other archer has combined to write illustrate more Deadpool work. I'll complete this journey with over 1,000 pages alongside my mercenary missive. <clears throat> so, I'll finish this one last Deadpool story. Trust me, it's a wild one. And I call it a collaboration for ages. It'll be fun. In case you're wondering, why now? That's easy. I'll be 57 at the end of this at the end of this, and my eyes are still functioning. The work continues to be strong. I want to go out with the best effort can muster. The the I <clears throat> the, the hand eye co co um coordination won't be there forever. I'll elaborate more on this on my next reservation podcast, and look forward to taking this journey with you. The world's greatest fans who have always provided the best support cartoonists ever could imagine. And that's saying something. And that's it. That's what he posted, guys. And this is what he posted. And, of course, everyone just writing this stuff. And I, that, as you can see, that's me right there. Um, yeah, so that's it. You know, uh, Rob, he's retiring from drawing Deadpool. And I guess he's going to just go full strong with creating on stuff afterwards. But he's going to give us one more Deadpool story. And he's going to ride off in the sunset, which I think is a cool thing, man. So as I end this, guys, I just showed you right there from the man himself that he's retiring from drawing Deadpool. So he's going to give us one more Deadpool story that's supposed to be coming out in the summer. And um, he's going to ride off in the sunset, no more Deadpool. And I guess he's just going to start creating this more, a lot of creator on stuff like he doing with his last blood. Um, I just wanted to say one thing, and that's I want to thank Rob for giving me the opportunity he gave me for uh, for like for getting being part of that the whole profit remastered and uh, brigade remastered. That opened a lot of doors for me, and I just want to thank him for that opportunity, man, for giving me my shot like that, man. I mean. Um, all it takes, p people, is that someone who believes in your work and just give you that one opportunity. You take off running with the heels with it. See what I'm saying? But that's what I want to share with you guys today. Rob, life is no longer. 
He will no longer be drawing uh, Deadpool anymore. This, this is it. He, he's giving a farewell to his uh, creation that he created back in, in, in the 80s, or 90s, I believe. 80s, yeah. Well, now, yeah, 80s, because it was the New Mutants. So, <clears throat> he's, he's getting his farewell to his, one of his first creations, man, and um, it's going to be it. But anyway, you guys take care. Also, thank you for the support, man. We are growing this channel, man. Click on that like button. Hit the subscribe and get that hit that bell and get notifications every time I go live, man. I got a new comic coming. Uh Agent Solo issue four. I'll be dropping real, real, real soon. Along with ne the next creation, Spectre Magmus, which will be a 10-page story in that issue. This picture is gonna be huge, guys. So thank you so much for your support. Ramon out, take care.